Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is another video of me starting with absolutely no makeup on my face but I'm going to show you how to take your look from this completely bare faced to and it literally couldn't be any easier. So this look is all about making your everyday makeup look its best ever. So I'm gonna get into it and I'm just gonna talk you through my makeup and all the little tips and tricks that I've got just to make everything look that extra little bit more elevated. So let's go. So as you can all see, I have completely nothing on my face right now. I am freshly moisturized, I've got my serum on, I've done all my skincare, so that side of it, I've done all my prep, I've been really, really good. I'm always really good, skincare is my thing. Let's get into it. So my first tip would be to always use a primer. So the one that I'm using at the minute, and I talk about it all the time, is the Revolution Glow Bean Dream Primer. So this is is no secret that I've been using this. It's not the best primer I've ever used, but I do like it because it gives the skin a glow. And that would be my first tip to always sort of look for primers that glow up the skin. So, I mean, obviously, this kind of depends on your skin type. You may wish to go for something mattifying or you may wish to go for something that's sort of like, you know, gets rid of your pores, not gets rid of them, but kind of blurs them a little bit. Um, but for me, it's all about radiance. And if you really want to make your makeup glowy, which is kind of what I'm doing in this makeup video, just making the skin look glowy, dewy, hydrated, fresh, youthful, all those things. And yeah, I would definitely start with um, a primer that adds radiance to the complexion. So the one I'm using is Beam Dream. A few others that I recommend would be the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. NARS do a really good one. I can't think the name of it, but I will pop that in the description box below. I've used a couple of really good ones from NYX that are great. Um, the MAC Strobe Cream is brilliant and a product that's got many, many uses, which is really, really great. Uh, but any that I really like and recommend, I will pop in the description box below. But this one is nice. Um, it's, like I say, not my absolute favourite, but as you can see, it does give the skin that little bit of a radiant glow, which I do really like. Next tip would be to add a little bit of a liquid bronzer. The liquid bronzer that I use is the NARS Laguna. Obviously, this kind of depends on how dark you want your skin to look, if you like to have a tan. So this is kind of optional, really. You might be fair skinned and just loving life. Um, but if you do want to add a little bit of extra colour to your skin without going too over the top, then a liquid bronzer is the way to go. And this NARS one is just amazing. So I would definitely recommend this. So that's done, really nice and easy. Next tip would be to go for a slightly more lightweight foundation like the NARS Sheer Glow, which is the one that I'm using. And the shade that I use is Light 5, which is Fiji. When it comes to shades, I would always say to shade down a little bit. This is kind of, I know, controversial. I suppose some people would say, you know, go a bit dark, just give yourself a bit more colour. But for me, I would go a little bit lighter, go more natural, more close to your natural skin colour. And then you can bronze it up later on if you're having, you know, for someone who tans like me, some days I'm paler than I am on other days, I'm more tanned. So something a bit more natural that actually really suits your natural skin tone as it is, just on its own with nothing on it, is the best way to go. That way you can bronze it up, you can keep it lighter, you know, it's just more versatile. You can add li liquid bronzer to it. And I just find that it just looks more natural. It looks like you've got less on your face. Whereas if you go for a dark foundation straight away, sometimes it's a little bit more obvious that maybe you've got a bit more makeup on. So I just go in with um, a tiny bit, really. Obviously that is subject to your preference, how you prefer your makeup to look. And I always apply with a brush. The reason I apply with a brush is just because I find it's easier to blend your foundation and get a more even coverage. So that would be another tip, even though NARS actually say to use their products with fingers. For me, a brush just gets that coverage that little bit neater. And I would say use little brush strokes 
just because sometimes when you use bigger brush strokes you do miss bits whereas if you do this and using a ring light helps as well obviously I'm using a ring light because I mean I use a ring light because of my videos and things but it helps anyway just using a mirror and a ring light because it kind of illuminates anything that you've not covered and bring it up the eyes a little bit but not too much and just work that into the face So foundation is done. My next top tip would be to use a concealer that's a few shades lighter than your natural skin tone. So the one that I'm using today is the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Concealer and this is in a really light shade. Always use concealer under the eye area definitely in a lighter shade because that is what's going to give you that naturally highlighted effect and if you do get dark under eyes and telltale you know signs of tiredness in that way then this is just a really good way of disguising those telltale signs of fatigue tiredness which especially when you are a mum like me and you don't have a solid night's sleep, you're always busy, it is a really good trick. So as you can see like instantly that has just brightened up my under eyes like tenfold. They just look so much brighter, so much more illuminated which is great and just go in. Also I've got no product on my brows, I tinted them myself today before doing this video and I've got to say I'm really impressed. I've used the Miley tint again. I will link that down below and I've also used it to tint my lashes as well. So really impressed with that product. The next thing that I am going to say is absolutely imperative is to use a really good setting powder. So I've got a few favourite setting powders. This is one of them. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. I also love this one from NARS, which is the Translucent Crystal. So it's like a really nice, like, white, crystally colour. You don't see, like, the... You do actually see the crystal a little bit, like, the pearlescent, but only a tiny bit. It's just good for giving. It doesn't, like, highlight as in it gives you loads of shimmer. It just adds glow. So it just really naturally highlights any area that you're applying it to so you do get a tiny 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 bit of pearl without it looking like you've you know put loads of highlights over it. I'm really not describing this well but basically it just gives your skin a really natural glow and obviously sets everything so any areas that you've definitely concealed and things like that um, this will hold it in place. You can put it all over, but I particularly like to use it in the areas I've concealed and just, yeah, sets everything in a really nice, natural, slightly shimmery, just glowy way. It's really, really gorgeous. I love that one. So my next tip to look glowy and radiant and youthful would be to bronze up. I love bronzer. So the bronzer that I love is the NARS Laguna. This is fantastic. And I just go in with a brush and I'm not gonna do my nose first today because I keep vowing to not do it. So I'm just gonna go in, highlight the cheekbones. So this is a really good tip as well just for really accentuating those cheekbones and giving your face a more chiseled look. Go in on the next cheekbone. This is also just really quick to do. So bronzer is such a great product. There are lots of different bronzers out there, but this NARS Laguna one is so popular and for good reason. It's just, I mean, it is just gorgeous. Love a little bronze nose. Bring it down here. So that just kind of not only gives you a nice bronze glow but it also like contours the face a little bit without looking overly contoured if that makes sense. I don't like using loads of contour products 
in fact I don't use any proper contour products personally. I wouldn't be opposed to trying them in the future but for me I just prefer a slightly more natural contour which I find is achievable using bronzer etc. The next product that I'm going to use is blush. Now I know that blush is kind of a controversial product in the sense that some people are a little bit apprehensive to use it because they think you know am I going to look really pink am I going to look really red that's not the look I'm going for because I think back in the day a lot of us really overdid the blusher and a lot of us didn't use bronzer so we're kind of looking back at old pictures thinking oh my god I could never look like that again but honestly blush is such a fantastic product you just have to be really really light with how you apply it I use the Real Techniques 400 brush which is the blush brush and it's a pink one so it's really easy to remember it's got really soft light bristles so great for application and making sure nothing goes on too heavy and the one that I use is NARS Orgasm so what I will say about all the NARS products is you do only need a tiny bit a little really does go a long way and as you can see that just makes such a lovely difference without looking too pink or I mean, there's no way you can say that that's over the top, in my opinion. You might even use a bit less than me, but I think that just gives you just so much more radiance straight away. So for me, that looks great. A little bit of blusher definitely gives you more of a glow. So from the bronzer, you get like a sun-kissed glow, but from your blusher, you just get a bit of healthiness and, you know, rosy cheeks just always look really nice, like... I just think it's a really great look so a little bit of blush for me is great for creating that youthful amazing radiant look and next you all know how much I love my highlighter and the go-to one for me is MAC soft and gentle so I get so many compliments on this it's a really nice pearly finish just do a little bit on the nose Cupid's bow come here down to the chin Go in with the cheekbones and this is just so good for a glow up. I don't know how anyone does their makeup without highlighter personally. Used sort of sparingly, it just gives your makeup the wow factor completely. So yeah, great for glowing up and looking gorgeous. So the next thing that I'm going to do today is do my eyebrows. So as I said earlier, my brows are looking pretty decent because I have tinted them and I've been using castor oil to enhance growth. I've shaped them as best I possibly can. You know, it's not the same as going to a salon, I will admit, but there are different things you can do at home to make them look better. So my tip for brows would be to always start by spooling them first, like I just did, and then go in with a pencil. The one that I use is the NYX Professional Makeup micro brow pencil it's just in the shade espresso because my eyebrows are very dark but that would be a tip i'd use anyway always go a little bit darker with your eyebrow pencil always go a little bit dark with your eyebrow pencil because it just helps to really frame your face your eyebrows are just such a focal point on your face and they really bring everything together they just make such a difference so go for a darker pencil that's gonna bring out your eyes and really bring the focus to your eyes on your face so a darker pencil is so good. I just start by going underneath the brow a little bit. I don't use a lot of brow pencil to be honest. And then we go under this brow as well. Naturally following the shape of the brows. And I use, I'd say, a little bit more product at the ends. I accentuate the ends more than you do the middle. Because if you do too much in the middle, that's when you can kind of create that sharp style effect which isn't what we want and then when you're done buff them out again this eyebrow pencil is really good because it's got the spoolie at the end i think there are you know a few brands that have kind of taken on um that style of brow pencil because the spoolie thing <laughs> the spoolie thing sounds so unprofessional the spoolie at the other end just really allows you to buff everything in and get a more natural finish excellent and then I set with a little bit of brown mascara. You can get like, ooh, no, 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 thank you. Should not have done that. Uh, you can get plain, uh, sort of clear brow setting gels, which is also great, but I like to use a bit of 
brow mascara just because that's what I use and this one's just one I've had ages from Revolution Beauty which I love. Elvis has joined me for the video which is really really nice. So my brows are done. I'm now going to move on to my actual eyes. My next tip with makeup and making everything look that little bit better would be to use a white pencil in your eyes. So on like the waterline. So the colour that I'm using today is fascinating and it's from MAC. So just go in literally go in the waterline there and what this does is sorry this is really freaky to do on camera what this does it just makes the eyes look bigger see the difference with the eyes already so this one is the one with the pencil and this is without pencil so i'm just going to go in and do this one as well so next thing that i do and i find really helps is using a dark brown eyeliner so I don't use black because I feel that that can look a bit unnatural I think the darker your hair the more you can get away with really dark pencils but for me personally a dark brown is better than a black because it's just slightly more subtle slightly more natural and really that's what this looks about so if you want to tone things down a little bit and make it look more natural more glowy then a brown eyeliner is essential and the one I'm using is from NYX and I just go in here and I used to blend this, use, well I do sometimes still blend it using a brush but recently I've been doing it using my fingers so I will show in a minute. Just go over the top of the lashes as close to the lashes you can get. I really have no instruction on how to do this by the way because I just wing it every time. And then I come under the lashes so under the lash line a little bit. For a natural finish. I just literally get my ring finger on my right hand and just puff that in. You can kind of just be rough with it, it doesn't have to be super neat, it just blends in nicely and just gives you kind of like a really light smoke and then I do the same underneath. Done! So guys, staying on the topic of the eyes, I am now going to go in with my next tip, which is to use eyelash curlers. And the ones I've got here are from Skinny Dip. And I can't remember what they are. They're just really nice rose gold ones. And they've got like a glittery handle. Eyelash curlers are great to use because they just give you more definition and your mascara just goes on so much better. You just get a proper lift from your mascara. And you know, I've got quite a decent curl to my eyelashes anyway, but if you've got particularly flat lashes, then this is great just to give them that curl. And this is really good for making them last all day. It's one of the best eyelash curlers that I've used personally. I just get my little mirror and I'm just gonna clamp down. I kind of just clamp for about 10 seconds. This is the one that I've done. And these are the lashes that I've not done. So kind of before and after. I'm just gonna do the other lashes now. My next tip would be to use not one, but a couple, maybe even three different mascaras to get the look that you really want. So I find that a lot of mascaras give me one thing, but not everything that I want. You know, you want length, you want volume, you want everything. So at the moment, my mascara go-tos are the Idole Lash from Lancome. It kind of curves with the natural shape of your eye, which I really, really love. You know, it's got sort of like a proper eye shape to it. Let's go in. I feel like this really defines each and every lash. A little bit on the bottom. So that was the first mascara that I used. I then go in with my trusty false lash effect from Max Factor because I just find that this adds a little bit of extra oomph and volume and just everything. So that is me with two types of mascara on. So I think 
you can probably appreciate that the impact of having two is quite huge. So I would definitely say use two, even use three if you want, completely up to you, but that is definitely worth doing. And now I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. So lip liner isn't for everyone, some people prefer a more natural finish, but if you really want to amplify your makeup and make it just look that tiny little bit more special and just more wow factor, then lip liner is definitely essential just to make your lips look more defined, bigger, just more kissable. Uh, and the lip liner that I use is MAC Whirl. So I just do slightly overlined, but only a tiny bit because I don't want it to look unnatural, really over the top. So I just came in slightly. below the lip to start. Always make sure you're properly defining your cupid's bow. And that is lip liner done. What a massive difference that makes straight away in my opinion. And then the next product I go in with is always a lighter lipstick. So the lipstick that I'm using is MAC Angel. It's a really nice sort of like bluey pink lipstick. So it's a nice sort of natural colour, but it still accentuates my lips, still makes them look that little bit better. So it's almost like your lips but better kind of look. So going with that now. And I always think that light sort of like pinky peachy lipsticks just give you that youthful look. So this look is really coming together now. My last tip would be to always use a setting spray because it just pulls everything together and just gives you that final radiant dewy look that we all love. The setting spray that I'm currently using is the L'Oreal Shake and Glow. Just give it a shake and then just and voila, this makeup look is done. So they are my top tips on how to enhance your natural everyday makeup look. And yeah, I really hope that you all enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like this video as well. And as always, please do pop any comments with suggestions and things like that down in the comments section below. But for now, until next time, everyone, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.